and welcome back to my channel. First, allow me to say thank you sa lahat po ng nanonood at nag-share ng aking mga videos. Thank you po sa inyo. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button down below. Today's video tutorial is intended for students and parents as well. Ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom. So kung handa na kayo, ilagi na uli ang inyong mga Google accounts dahil sisimulan na natin. Okay, one way of joining a classroom is through an invitation email sent by your teacher. So, isa itong example nung email na pinadala ng teacher nyo sa inyo. So, you will just have to uh, click join and you are going directly to the classroom. Ayan na. Okay. There you go. For the second way of joining, narito po tayo ngayon sa google.com. Nakalagin na po ang account ng ating students. O yan, nakikita nyo po. Hanapin po unin natin ang ating Google Apps icon. This is the Google Apps icon. Let's click and look for Google Classroom. So, scroll down nyo lang po para makita nyo ang Google Classroom. Pwede nyo po itong i-adjust, pwede nyo itaas para mas madali nyo makita. Okay, so let's click Classroom. Okay, let's wait. Ayan. So, let's continue. Alright. So, wala pa po tayong classroom na narito sa ating uh, homepage. Now, para po tayo ay makasali, i-click po natin itong plus sign. Create or join a classroom or a class. So, join class po tayo. Okay. So, itatype po natin dito yung code na binigay ng inyong teacher. Kaya, ang sabi po dito, ask your teacher for the class code, then enter it here. So, let's enter the class code. Okay. Then, click join. Let's wait. Okay, so narito na po tayo sa classroom ng grade 4 uh, English, section Banaba. Okay, so as student po, makikita natin dito yung mga posts na nga ating teacher o yung kahit rin po yung mga kapwa nating students ay pwede rin pong mag-post dito sa stream. So, ito po yung parts ng Google Classroom. We have the three tabs, the stream, the classwork, and the people. Dito po po na tayo sa stream. So, ang stream po ay kamukha lang ng news feed natin sa Facebook. Pwede po tayo dito mag-post. Okay, so usually yung ginagawa po dito, uh, nagigri tayo kay teacher. Yan, let's say good morning. Or sa ating mga classmates, good morning everyone. And then, post. Okay. So, lalabas na po yan at makikita na ng ating mga kasama sa classroom. Okay. Ang Google Classroom po is used by teachers to post announcement and materials for students uh, na gagamitin nila sa kanilang pag-aaral. So, kagaya po nito, ito po ay post ng uh, teacher nilalagay po niya sa stream. So, ito po yung isa sa nakapost sa stream. Welcome to your English Classroom. Uh, please follow the schedule of activities indicated in your weekly home learning plan. Let me know if you have any questions. Just leave a comment below. Answer your module for week 1. So, pwede kayong sumagot kay teacher. Pwede nyo i-greet si teacher na, Good day, ma'am. Um, thank you. Thank you for your reminders. Okay. And then, post it. Yan po. Okay, after po natin sa stream, let's go to the second tab, which is the classwork. Okay, let's click. Here in classwork, you are going to see all the activities assigned by the teacher. So, first one, may makikita tayo itong material, parts of a paragraph. Let's click. So, this material is a video from YouTube. Let's see. Hello. 
In this video, you will learn about paragraph and its components. Yan po. So, binigyan ka ni teacher ng additional learning material para mas maintindihan mo ang inyong lesson. Let's go back to classwork. Okay. Another material na narito is a quiz. Let's click the quiz. So, this is a Google quiz. Okay. Let's click this one. At yan, mapupunta na kayo sa inyong quiz. So, kunwari, nabasa natin ang mga tanong. Sagutan natin by uh, clicking your answer. Yan. And then, after answering, just click submit. Okay, you can also view your score. Sabi dito, your response have been, has been recorded. View your score. Ayan. So, correct ka sa number 1, number 2, and number 3. So, we're done with the quiz. Let's close the quiz. And go back to classwork. So, let's view this again. So, wala tayong i-attach na file. Dahil gumamit na tayo ng uh, Google Quiz, we will just mark this as done. Okay. Para makita ni teacher na tapos ka na sa quiz. Okay. So, balik tayo dun sa mga activities mo sa classwork. Ayan. Another one. Okay. View your assignment. Click view assignment. At, yan, may tadong sa'yo si teacher. What are the three parts of a paragraph? So, hindi ka dito magsasagot sa class comments. Dito ka magsasagot sa uh, add or create. Click mo lang yung add or create. Then, Piliin mo yung docs. So, Google Docs ka magsasagot. Hintayin lang natin. Okay. Ayan. Nandito na tayo sa Google Docs. Para lang din itong Microsoft Word. So, itatype mo lang yung sagot mo. What are the three parts of a paragraph? Number one. Topic sentence. Number two. Supporting sentence. Okay. Number three is concluding sentence. Okay. So, pagtapos ka na, just click turn in. Nandito siya sa uh, right, sa taas. Okay. At hintayin lang natin. So, turn in your work. One attachment will be submitted for Module 1, Parts of a Simple Paragraph. Okay, let's turn in. Okay. So, yan. So, kung gusto mong basahin, uh, palitan yung sagot mo, pwede mo namang i-click tong unsubmit. Okay, babalik ka dun sa yung uh, Google document kanina. Yan, i-click mo lang uli yon, Then, mag-edit ka ng iyong sagot. So, para i-submit, turn in. Okay. So, again, one attachment will be submitted for Module 1. Parts of a simple paragraph, turn in. Okay. So, yun na. Nakapasok na yung inyong sagot. Makikita na ni teacher at pwede ka rin magpadala ng private comment or message kay teacher. Dito mo lang yun itatype. Pero pag dito ka nag-type, makikita yun ng mga classmates mo. Okay, so to check if all the activities were turned in, so punta kayo dito sa stream, makikita nyo tong box na nasa left. Okay, so usually nakalista dyan lahat ng mga kailangan yung gawin or isubmit. Now, kapag... Uh, Natapos nyo ng lahat yon, nakalagay dyan yung woohoo, no work due soon. Or pwede nyo rin i-click tong view all. So dito sa view all, makikita nyo kung nasa-submit na, uh, nakalagay dyan na turned in. Okay, so okay na yon. Ibig sabihin natapos nyo na yung mga activities. So dito naman sa people, ito yung mga members ng... Uh, classroom ninyo. Of course, yung teacher mo at yung mga classmates. Okay. So, sana ay naintindihan nyo kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all 
next time. Goodbye!